Hello and welcome back to the channel, David's Insight. So today I'll be sharing my thoughts on the season 2 finale of the Total Drama Island reboot as well as my opinion on season 2 as a whole later on in this video. If you haven't yet seen it, I suggest you click off now to go check it out and come back here later. You can watch it on the BBC iPlayer from the UK or with a VPN from the US and if you don't have one then you can try checking on YouTube but you'll need to watch it as soon as possible before the videos get taken down for copyright. So the episode starts off where the previous one took off with Julia using Damien's immunity statue to eliminate Priya from the competition. Caleb is now mad at Julia for getting his girlfriend eliminated and then there's Wayne who has no clue why he's mad at Julia. The previously eliminated contestants show up to support our three finalists in the next challenge. They got to pick who they wanted to support and we have Caleb's team who mostly supported him to ensure Julia loses, there's Wayne's team who are highly rooting for him to win and then there's Julia's team only consisting of MK. But it turns out that this is actually an advantage as in the first part off the challenge they have to pull their wagons with all their teammates inside of them. Julia takes the lead and Caleb is in second place. Meanwhile, Wayne gets distracted by pizza and is in last place. Julia reaches the second challenge where she must cross a tightrope without falling into the river. Scary Girl then appears and blasts Julia into the river. Caleb also arrives to the next challenge and not so soon after, falls into the river. Wayne still remains distracted and is still yet to finish the first challenge. Julia is back on the tightrope. Priya then blasts Julia with the t-shirt cannon back into the water and it's at this point where the funniest scene of the episode takes place in my opinion. The dinosaur she insulted back in season 1 eats her hair, leaving her with a mullet. This is similar to season 1 where Heather's hair gets shaved off by Chef. Wayne finally reaches the next challenge as his teammates blast Caleb back into the water. Meanwhile, Julia reaches the final challenge where she must put on a squirrel suit and glide ideally onto the dock of shame. Caleb catches back up to Julia and they both glide neck and neck towards the dock of shame until Julia shoves him out the way. Wayne is presumed out of the challenge, leaving it down to Caleb and Julia. Caleb ramps Julia through the trees making it become a foot race to the dock of shame. Meanwhile, Wayne appears out of the cloud with one of the squirrel suits gliding towards the dock of shame. Wayne then comes up with an idea that secures him the win. So the official season 2 winner is Wayne. Now I'm happy that Wayne won but I don't know if he deserved it. I was really hoping Julia would win and they'd do something different this time making the main villain win not like World Tour where Heather won because she wasn't the main villain of that season. It seems like they tried to do the winner this season similar to when Owen won in season 1 but unlike Owen, they didn't really flesh out Wayne enough and they didn't really do anything with his character all that much this time, only as a comic relief. But with Owen, there was more to him. Although I felt it was underwhelming, I'm still happy Wayne won. Better him than Caleb in my opinion. Now I'm going to share some quick thoughts on season 2 as a whole. In my opinion, this season was a big improvement over season 1, however it still had its flaws. I felt like the beginning of the season was stronger than the latter. One of my biggest problems with this season was the whole Priya-Caleb relationship. I never had a problem with them being together but in the second half of the season I just felt that they dragged out their relationship too much till it became dry. Their relationship just seemed very complicated. One minute Caleb would betray Priya, the next minute they'd make up. In my opinion, episode 10 was one of, if not the worst episode of the season, Priya and Caleb were acting so dumb in that episode as they were taking advice from Julia. Julia of all people. They know they couldn't trust her and yet they still took her advice and on top of that, the relationship advice Julia gave them was really bad that only someone really dumb would believe. The challenge was quite underwhelming and what made the episode even more disappointing was the elimination. I was really hoping Damien would make it all the way to the finale. I was expecting either Raj, Wayne or Priya to go home in that episode and I would have loved a finale with Damien and Julia or Damien and MK. I wouldn't have had a problem with Priya's screen time and her placing fourth if they she still had use in the story. I felt like they should have split her and Caleb up a couple episodes prior so that we could actually see what Caleb was capable of on his own and to see if he was a solid character without Priya. I felt that they did somewhat derail her character instead of developing it. In the first half, Priya was fine. But in the second half, it seemed as if she learned nothing from last season when Millie betrayed her. 
Also she does this thing where whenever someone close betrays her, she gets super angry and basically tries to kill them or severely injure and although funny, I never really enjoyed that trait of hers. Anyways, on to a more positive note. This season was a big improvement over season 1 in my opinion. It allowed characters that were the early boots in season 1 have more time to shine. For example, Nichelle, Damien and especially Caleb who made it really far this time around. I also loved the alliance between MK and Julia. They had a really good dynamic. And I really enjoyed the finale better than season 1. Overall, to end on a more positive note, while this season had its flaws, I'm still going to give it a 7.4 out of 10. Anyways, that'll be it for now. Be sure to like, comment your opinions down below in the comments section and subscribe. Thanks for watching.